Welcome to the video tutorials of Mechanisms by Mechanismalar. The injector was one of the most ingenious inventions of the 19th century. It was invented by a Frenchman, Henry Giffard, in 1858. If someone wants to write a book about steam locomotives, they could dedicate a long chapter of the book just to the steam injector. The use of this device spread over time with it being used for different applications. Today, there are more applications for this device. If you're aware of an application for this device, I would love to hear about it. In the comments section, please write a brief description of the use so we can all benefit from this knowledge. Imagine a moment that you want to pump water from atmospheric pressure to a boiler which has the pressure level 10 to 15 times above the atmospheric pressure. Before the invention of the steam injector, the cold water pumped to the boiler by a steam reciprocating pump. The first problem with this design is that the steam used to operate the pump is discharged to the atmosphere, which reduces the overall efficiency of the locomotive. The second problem is that we are pumping cold water into the boiler, which reduces the boiler temperature. The third, but not last problem, is that you have to maintain a pump which has many moving parts. Steam injectors solve all of these problems in one simple ingenious design. The sketch you see here is not a proportional technical drawing. It is an animation which puts emphasis on the injector and makes the rest of the parts, such as the boiler, disproportionately small. Here's how a steam injector works. The steam taken from the boiler is sent to the injector with high pressure and with low velocity to the injector. This flow is indicated by the red background with white dots showing the direction of the flow. The flow is then directed to the converging, diverging steam cone. In the cone's converging section, the steam velocity is increased to the speed of the sound. At the diverging section, the pressure is further reduced and converted to kinetic energy where steam is moving faster than the speed of sound. By the time steam leaves the cone, the speed of the steam is much faster than the speed of sound, but its pressure is below the atmospheric pressure. The flow is shown here with a light red background. The pressure created at the exit of the steam cone causes the water in the reservoir to be sucked into this vacuum shown here in the blue background for water flow. The water leaving the steam cone with high velocity enters the combining cone. It is called the combining cone because the steam is also sucking a large amount of water from the reservoir. During this combining process, steam begins to condense and the water begins to get warmer. This mixing and condensing flow process is shown here in purple. During the combining process, the speed of water was increasing due to the hammer effect of the steam jet, but the steam was disappearing from the flow of water. Further narrowing, the combining cone increases the speed of water. This water flow is shown here in light blue. The water jet leaving the combining cone is pushed into the delivery cone. It is called the delivery cone because it leads the flow toward the boiler. Before water reaches the boiler, the flow velocity is reduced due to the diverging shape of the delivery cone. Reduced water speed increases the water pressure above the boiler pressure, and this allows the feed water to be delivered to the boiler. This flow is shown here in sky blue. What lays in between the combining cone and the delivery cone is the overflow chamber. Adding this chamber to the steam injector was the ingenuity of the steam injector inventor Henry Giffard. This chamber and the overflow pipe allows the excess water to be sent back to the reservoir and prevents the steam injector from choking, 
especially when, is, when it is starting to operate for the first time. This allows the injector to operate smoothly. The steam injector's operation will be interrupted by turning the valve shown here manually or automatically off. Turning off this valve will cut the steam flow to the injector. In turn, water flow from the reservoir to stop. During this time, the check valve shown here will prevent the boiler water to escape the reservoir. Thank you for taking the time to watch our videos. If you enjoyed this video and found it to be useful, please subscribe to my channel and hit the like button. We appreciate your support.